It's a little brisk, but I think that's good. Good for the runners, right? No, exactly. And you can kind of see this guy. He's still lit up in red, white, and blue, peeking through. Um, and of course, the runners, the foot racers, coming across the finish line. A lot of people like, finally, we made it. But Such feeling really, they say, exhilarating to be up there. The uh, first female and the first male to cross the finish line. We spoke with them and they said they didn't really have time to stop and look around, but you could feel it. They just wanted that good time. Yeah, listen. Oh, it was exhilarating. I loved it. Going up that going up that incline was intense. So I, I did some incline training, so I was ready for it. You know, it's a great cause to support our military and everything that the military does for us and, you know, defending our country and allowing me to run the way I do. I wouldn't be able to do it without them. And that's, that's Jamie right there from Fort Myers, Florida. And she's getting ready to run in the Boston Marathon yes. coming up. This so is just the warm up for us. That's said. right. And she said it was great. And then you heard um, us also talking with Mark Benjamin from St. Pete, 34 years old. He said that he clocked himself at about 37 minutes or so. But it's really important to keep in mind that when it comes to the male and female to finish, yes. these are not the winners, yes. the overall winners. We'll, we'll know that later. And funny enough, too, both first time Skyway 10K runners as well so and uh yeah. jamie said she doesn't like heights she doesn't like I bridges know, so she didn't take the time to take in the view well maybe there. they're faster right <laughs> yes, exactly all right well we're gonna thank send you. it back to you <laughs> that is awesome courtney and josh thank you